It's on. Okay, so this is law number three. And I should have been saying this before at the beginning of every law. Law zero is the law of Amin. Law one is the law of Osar. Law two is the law of Tehuti. Law three is the law of Sekert. And um, if we look at the astrology thing, Tehuti would be Uranus. Sekert would be Saturn. Um, so every every law has its own planetary uh, alignment as well. And um, so, yeah, this is law number three. Um, I get into... You know, I mean, I have other videos on the laws if you like to look at them, but this is this is the third uh, law, and uh, in Latin it'd be si sensus me mei in responso veritatis manifestent fortunam eventi omni in mundo transformare possum possum possum, okay, which is what in English. When my emotions... You look like a 70s teacher. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Um, we have the C again. And you know what I mean. You already know. We already had it last. You said when or if, right? Yeah, when. So the specialty about this word, though, is that you have to um, put a conjugate... Conj Conjunctive. 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 Yeah. Verb or predicate. Because like the infinitive of manifestant would be manifestare. And the con conjunctive is always um, is you change like the sound of the word somehow that the A is not an A but an E. And vice versa like the usual like how you do usually but um it's not all like always like this there's always you know um other forms too but usually the a becomes an e and the e becomes an a so we had another law uh, it was the second law right where we had that and we had reflectere it's reflectant in the it's, law yeah Exactly, the E became an A. That's how you uh, recognize a conju conjunctive. It's different, like, you know, you see that, wait, this is manifestare though, but then you know this is a conjunctive. You know what I mean? Okay. What's a conjunctive? What's an example of a conjunctive? You, you like, this is a kind of <laughs> example, but you use it like, your question is why, why you use it or what? Just make an, just make a. a In a, English, a, there is no such thing. Okay. Maybe in a conditional sentences, like if blah blah blah. If I see you, I would go, right? You if I saw you, I would go to prison or some shit like that. Yeah. Okay. So it's would go. Okay, I get it, because it's. Sensus is feelings, right? And may may is my, right? Yeah, my. So when my feelings or emotions or emotions, yeah. When my emotions, when my emotions, uh, when my emotions respond, very this is truth, right? So when my emotions respond to the truth or manifest, in manifest in in response, okay. Yeah. When my when my emotions, my in response manifest from truth, basically I don't know how you yeah it's all I different. had I I did it like this I did in response of the truth like the tr truth earns the uh, or owns the response like in response of the truth yeah when my emotions manifest in response of the truth in response. So I put um, in plus ablative here. Because this is an ablative. And this is all going to be in other lessons. This is too much to explain. So we have, because you can have an in plus accusative and you can have an in plus ablative. We have an in plus ablative in this one. Okay. 
and it means something different. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, the N plus L doesn't mean something different than the N plus X to this. Okay. So, in response, uh, of the truth I made, I did, like, to the genitive. Genitive? The truth on the response. The truth possesses the response, or incites the response. Men, yes. When my when my emotions manifest in response of the truth, si sensus mei in responso veritatis manifestent. So just just together in K and G again. Case number and genus. And we have NT, plural, like my emotions is a subject for the predicate manifest. And NT is third person, plural, they. Which, who's they? My emotions. So. Fortunam eventi omne immundo transformare osum. Yeah. When my emotions manifest in response to the truth. Yeah, we start with a predicate now, possum. Power. Yeah. Possibility. Yeah, you're right. It means I can. Okay. I can. Can. Transform. Transformare. Transform. Exactly. I can transform uh, the events, eventi. Yeah, eventi though is genitive, so of, of events or event. Hold on, event plus event. And omni is all, so all in the world. But but is it plural though? Like I can't transform, of course. In English, it'd be, when my emotions manifest in response to the truth, I have the power to transform the course of any and all events in the world. It must be, um, okay, then I did, uh, made a mistake, so it must be something else, but okay. Eventorum. And then Omni must be in uh, K and G, so to match the eventorum, because um, it's all events. And G, hold on. Omnium. Yeah, genitive plural. I did genitive singular first, but let's do plural anyway. Okay. Of see, events. Okay. So, in all events in the world, mundo, in, in the world, in the world. Because mundo, like we said, means mound or like worldly is like mundane. It's mundo. Like mun, it comes from mundus. And it's an ablative, it's an in plus ablative again. In the world. Okay. Yeah, we have two in plus ablatives. So what is fortun fortunum? But I can transform any and all events. No, you can transform the course. The course of fortunum? Yeah. Oh, the course, because like your fortune is your course. Okay. Do you For like it? <laughs> a fortune teller is a fortunum teller. Yeah, it can okay. be good or bad. It's like a... It's just the course, just the path. Yeah. It's just the way. It should just be Dow. We just put Dow there. <laughs> so, course. Fortunum. Or the course. You know, Latin people don't use articles. So, mm. the course. Okay. And it's AM again, accusative. So, 
So when my emotions manifest in response to the truth, they have the power to transform the course of any and all events in the world. Si sensus mei in responso veritatis manifestent fortunam eventorum 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 omnium omnium or omnium yeah omnium omnium in mundo tra transformare possum so my emotions manifest in response to the truth they have the power to transform the course well, I have the power to transform the course of any and all events in the world. If I assume as I can. I have the power to transform the course of any and all events in the world. Okay. Se sensus mei in responso veritatis manifestent fortunam eventorum omnium in mundo transformare possum. You got anything you want to say about the cases or anything? I think we good. We have like two ablatives ab here, responso and mundo, both masculine, so it's spelled O from the O declination. And that's really it though. And like the genitive here though, you can see it's kind of a new one, right? We never heard it for the O room. That's new. We haven't. What's that about? Yeah. That's just plural, genitive plural. Okay. Or More insight on law three. Like I said, it's Saturn, right? And Saturn is like, uh, determines like your carnal destiny, like the events that you're going to have, your body's going to go through no matter what. So like, it's your, your court, your course, your fortunum, your fortunum is, you know what I mean? Regulated by Saturn, your physical course in the world. So like when your emotions manifest in response to the truth, then you can transform the course. You can transform your destiny. If your emotions follow the truth instead of following something else. So. Yeah. Also, we got possum in in this sentence. We had possum before twice, I think. In the first one, for sure. In the first law. And that was con conjunctive. Um, just like this. You know, but it's just um, an irregular form. So it's possum, you know. Okay. But possum is actually indicative this time. So this okay. is the second part of the sentence. So manifest sense is the one for C and then second part of the sentence is actually irregular. And we have possum indicative this time because like in the other sentences we had it, it was with an ut, which also means conjunct conjunctive, just like C. But in a regular main sentence we always use indicative with possum is an indicative. So in regular sentence it'd be posse? Posse is just uh, infinitive, though. Oh. We always need to adjust it to the person. I can is possum. Okay. You can is put s. And they can, or he, she, it can is put s, and then, and so on. They, we, you, they. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice sunset. <laughs>